I'm Sophie Giuliano, author of Gorgeously Green, and I'm going to show you how to brew the perfect cup of green tea today. Now, I am a passionate green tea drinker. I love it. I drink about four or five cups a day, and the reason is because mercifully i love the taste i like the grassy taste and i'm into all these different kinds of green teas now but also i love the fact that i'm drinking health basically health in a cup because green teas good green teas are full of polyphenols which are really powerful free radical fighters and antioxidants they're basically incredibly good for your health and so if you can drink green tea you'll be in good shape now let's just talk a little bit about the different kinds of tea because that's important we tend to think of green tea as a very generic oh green tea the number one rule is i would recommend always buy loose tea don't buy tea in a tea bag. The tea in a tea bag is typically the worst quality tea. So it'll be the tea that is almost the sort of dust on the floor when they're, when they're putting the teas together and sorting the teas. Anything that's low quality gets thrown into a tea bag. So buy your teas loose. That goes for all teas. Now, the different kinds of tea, there are hundreds of different kinds of green teas. There's the Japanese varieties, there's the Chinese varieties, the, there's the Taiwanese varieties. It gets very complicated and very exciting if you're into that. However, for very simplistic purposes, if you're sort of new to the whole thing, let's just go through the different kinds of tea. There is white tea. Now that is the tea that really comes straight from the bush and has had no roasting or oxidizing. Um, and it is probably the tea that is the most uh, beneficial to your health because it's very, very high in, in the polyphenols. Um, it, its flavor is, is, is very, very, very light flavor. Then next you have green tea. Now, green tea has um, been processed a little bit. It's been snipped off. It all comes from the same bush. Um, and as I've said, there are hundreds and hundreds of different kinds of green tea here. I just have a regular Sencha green tea. And um, I also have a gunpowder green tea, which is, which is one that you can find in, in most health food stores. Um, then there is oolong tea. Now, oolong tea has been roasted a little bit. It's been oxidized, so it's a little bit darker. And I like it because it has a dark color, a sort of golden amber color, and it has a very, very rich, often smoky flavor, which I find absolutely delicious. It can be brewed for a long time. Then finally, you have black tea that we all know about, and most of us in Britain drink every single day. Again, very important, even with black tea, much, much better to get your tea loose. Now, the key in brewing a perfect cup of green tea is that you never ever put boiling water on green tea because it'll burn the leaves and it'll give a really bitter um, taste. So the two keys to brewing your green tea are the heat of the water, the temperature of the water and the length that you brew the tea. Now typically the lighter the tea, so starting with the white, the cooler the water needs to be and the less brewing time. So it gets warmer, 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 warmer until you get to black tea and then it's boiling water and you can let it steep for a while. So I'm just going to show you the different ways that I believe um, make for the best brewing. So there's either this little device that you've probably seen before, um, a little metal tea infuser, not my favorite, but it'll do, only because it's hard to get the right amount of tea in there. Um, but you know, when I'm traveling, that can be fine. Um, this actually is my favorite, which is you can get this from any speciality tea store and it's a tea bag. Um, and that's, you just fill it. And I love this. It just brews a very, very beautiful, rich cup of tea. And this is what I carry with me every week. People come and stop me and say, where did you get that from? And it's a tea brewing mug, which is genius because it has a little filter in it. Now, this is better for oolong tea because teas that you can put in that will brew for a long time, that's what you want to use it for, not green. So let's make the perfect cup of green tea. Ideal world, you've got your little tea bag here and I'm going to spoon in one teaspoon of these bright grassy green leaves. Now, I've boiled my water 
and my water has been five minutes off the boil. So remember, for green tea, five minutes off the boil. That's the temperature it needs to be. So this is exactly right, and I'm going to pour that in there. Now, while that is brewing, that needs to brew for three minutes. So remember, for green tea, five minutes off the boil, and it's going to brew for about three minutes. Now, if you're using oolong tea, you are going to, I'll put my oolong tea in here. Again, I'm going to use one teaspoon. And the water that you want for oolong is a little bit warmer. So I would say for oolong, two minutes off the boil. This isn't an exact science with what I'm doing right now, but I know you'll have it down to an exact science. This is very, very pretty because you'll see the leaves unfurl and then you put the lid on like so. So we have green tea, we have oolong tea. And then finally, when you're brewing black tea, black tea always should be on the boil, a rolling boil, and then you pour it on and it steeps for five minutes. So I'm going to recap one more time. So green tea, five minutes off the boil, it steeps for three minutes. Oolong tea, two minutes off the boil, and this can steep for as long as you want it to. You can literally keep those leaves in all day and just keep on adding more hot water to it. So it's a very economical way of drinking your tea. Great for travel as well. And then finally, your bog standard black tea, rolling boil, steeps for five minutes. There you go, the perfect cup of tea. So for these tips, more tips, tricks and recipes, please visit me at gorgeouslygreen.com.